We are in Parga and this is our view. We walk into town down there where the car is, the main town area. It's just a couple of minutes walk away. You can see the castle there. It's really pretty, really, really pretty. We arrived at around nine o'clock last night, absolutely shattered, really, really tired. So we just got changed quickly, freshened up and went to the yard. I did a little research before I went to see closest restaurants. There's loads near here. We're staying in Hotel Resi, if I haven't already said. And yeah, it's it's a gorgeous hotel. Very basic, very simple, but really nice and clean. Jazz and I are sharing this room and John and Ollie are sharing two rooms down. We went to the yard last night. We had really lovely food. Meals are around 10 euros each per person. So really, really great prices and drinks as well. Gorgeous atmosphere. So we've just had breakfast, buffet breakfast. It comes with the room really nice breakfast think premier in if you're from the uk that type of breakfast so everything you can think of really the others are waiting for us downstairs it's about 26 degrees hat on stop my scalp from burning always wear a hat always so you'll always see me in a hat in my videos and yes yeah, suntan lotion on i'm thinking about putting a necklace on i'm not too sure <laughs> and then we're gonna head out for a wander our plan today is to find out about the different tours the land train does it does three different tours a 30 minute tour of the town and then two two hour tours which goes up into the mountains which we all want to do so let's get on with day one in parga greece which is mainland if you weren't sure is absolutely beautiful we just booked a land train to go up to the water mills tomorrow and we're just having a wander around i've been wanting to come here for years and years and years it's just stunning the water is so clear and so blue but the plan now is to follow along the harbour go up into the old old town and then go up to the castle there and then go there's a cocktail place that does all day drinks I'm, I think so anyway up there somewhere but yeah I want to go on a boat though just walked up to Parga Castle. We walked through the old town, really steep, but really pretty and doable. There used to be a cafe up here. There isn't any more, a lease run up or something. So we're just wandering around now. There's not many people here, but I'd imagine it would be beautiful at night. You can see lights above me. They may still light up actually. I'm sure the castle does light up because we can see the castle from our hotel, but look at the colors. Oh, it's just so, so beautiful here. We're just snapping away, taking as many photos as we can. Just really, really enjoying this gorgeous weather because it was touch and go. Could have been rain, thunderstorm tomorrow, possibly, but hopefully that is it. The 
the ground is rocky and a little bit slippery i've got sandals on and i did it okay but i you know it's not too bad gorgeous views come in all the way around here this is voltos beach i had originally booked to stay at voltos beach resort i think that's what it's called but because we've come here in october the chances of water taxis going back and forth were slim Little did we know that it's not really a bad walk and I definitely book there again. The fact that the water taxis are a bit unpredictable this time of year put me off so that's why we booked more in town. This is an area I would love to come back. There's so much exploring to do. A week is definitely not enough. The whole area, not just Parga, but all around the coast and inland as well. It's just so, so beautiful. Look at the colour of the sea. just flew my drone for the first time abroad. I've only ever done it near where I live. I am getting used to it. It's not gonna be the most amazing drone footage, but I wanted to take photos from high above, looking down, some video shots as well, which no doubt you'll see. But yeah, really, really happy. It's so gorgeous up here. Such shame that there's no cafe here anymore because it's a gorgeous, gorgeous spot. So yeah. We're gonna head down now for a drink. Walk in the back streets, trying to find somewhere to have some lunch. I'm looking for a travel agent so that I can go to Matera, do a day trip on my own. The, the others don't want to go. It's a full day trip, like eight until five o'clock. I've been to two travel agents. The first one, the man says they don't do it from there. The second one, which is the Tui rep one. The lady couldn't speak English, unfortunately. So I don't know whether they've stopped doing it I can't imagine so because it's a bus trip. Fair enough if it was a boat trip, but it's a bus trip. So I don't know. So I'm gonna have to do some Googling to find some more travel agents because I really, really wanna go. Okay, so this one is to Ali Pasha Castle. We've booked on to this one for tomorrow, which I'm looking forward to. And then this one then is daily. We've just eaten in the atrium bar and we've just walked up a load of steps to the top and uh, yeah really nice views over to Parga, the main town. The food here is gorgeous, really lovely, sandwich, salads, really really nice, cold drinks. Oh it's just so pretty here. This is what makes me nervous. Look. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. There's steps down there. Yeah. Oh, there they are down there. I am terrified of snakes, which is why I act like an idiot, banging my feet and shouting whenever I go up paths like that. <laughs> Walking towards the beach to go over to the atrium bar. You can come into this hotel. I'll show you the entrance. There. You can walk straight through and then you come down just by the steps leading up to the bar. Definitely recommend. We're sweaty, still tired and as usual I can't get to sleep the first night and stay in anywhere so my sleep was disrupted. Really comfy bed though, really really comfy bed and we've got a fan going up the top there. The bathroom's in there, Jazz is in there and yeah. The other two haven't got this sofa, so this is handy actually to put all our baggage on. And yeah, our view. It's not a pool view, it's not a sea view, but it's fine. It's a castle view, so hopefully we'll be able to see that lit up.
tonight. We're going for a swim now. We're just get, gathering everything together. Apparently it's supposed to be really warm in October. I'm excited to feel warm water, hopefully anyway. <laughs> chilly to get in but it's fine it is nice <laughs> but I prefer it when we come a little bit earlier we did plan to come here about five o'clock <laughs> but we were just tired we we're always tired the first day but yeah we'll come here earlier maybe tomorrow night <laughs> from the beach we bumped into Jazz and John and we had a drink in the Golfo I think it's called it's apartments but it's also a restaurant and a bar as well follow this road down there and literally it's just five minutes down to the beach where we were where you could see the rocks on the beach down there it's about quarter to eight something like that <laughs> I just want to go and take photos, <laughs> but it will wait. over there somewhere it was called Gemini restaurant people were lovely the meal was all right it wasn't the yard like where we had food last night that was gorgeous this is the Marco Polo boat that goes over to other Greek islands Paxos and Antipaxos and maybe Corfu I'm not too sure I know they're winding down Caves Island. Okay, yeah. I know they're winding down the boat trips now that we're in October. But um, yeah, we're not far from Corfu. Back to the room for a toilet break. John is ordering some drinks at the hotel bar. And yeah, just gonna have one more drink and then to bed then. My hair is dried like a frizzy mess. So I'm gonna put it in a plaid. Make up early tomorrow. Mm -hmm. 